Hi guys, bit of a mess in here because I'm doing several things at once. But I've got a comment on one of my solar powered um, solar rockers from Mort the Moose that his hula girl is playing up. Now I just happen to have a hula girl just there who interestingly enough is actually rocking just on the um, LED lighting here which is unusual but he's having trouble getting the bottom off. Now there's no guarantee that my hula girl will be the same as his because it's a fairly common design but I'll just see if I can pop the bottom off this one and see if we can have a look. Generally they're just a push fit but I guess it's just possible that his might be a one that's been glued in. I'll put the camera on the tripod clear a little space and we'll just pop the bottom off. Right, let's have a look. Usually they're all the same, probably four pillars with four pegs in them just to hold them in place. That's what this one seems to be. This knife may not be the best thing to use, it just happens to be what I've got to hand. something really a little bit stronger than that. Yeah, that one doesn't want to come up. Maybe they've put a bit of glue on just one. are all up alright. I think that's just coincidence that one's playing up. There we go. So there we go. Gently does it. That was actually three posts, not four. One, two, three going into one, two, three. We'll have a quick look at what we've got in the base here. Obviously we've got the solar panel. If we lift it up carefully, underneath we have the circuit board. Now be very careful if you lift this off because the wires that go to the coil, and he says dropping it unfortunately, the wires that go to the coil are hair thin and if they do break you do have trouble trying to solder them back on. So if they're not broken I wouldn't fiddle with this. Uh, being as we've just talked about the coil, the wires that come from the coil are these very very thin wires. They go onto these two tags. When they solder them on they actually lay the wire across the tag and apply the hot solder to it and that actually um, burns off the insulation. It's enameled wire so the heat burns off the enameling so it makes electrical contact. Then we've got the solar panel which if I can get my fingers the right way around actually have plus and minus written on them plus and minus. The wires from them go on to these two tags. That one's actually labelled plus, so the plus goes to the plus. The black blob is the circuit on board, cob, that actually does the electronics. And then at this end we've got a little electrolytic capacitor which also is um, plus and minus on it. I don't know if I can show it 
Right. On this side, I don't know if the light will catch it. It's got a grey strip with a minus sign on it. So that's the one that goes to the minus tag on the little circuit board there. And that's all there is to it. So, solar panel, small circuit board, and a capacitor, and the coil. And what usually happens is if you drop them on the floor, the little panel falls out, and with it, it drags the copper wires, and they break. And you have to try and refix the copper wires. That's the usual problem. And they're such fine wires, it's incredibly difficult to try and solder them. You might be able to see there's a bit of the wire laying, or flying in the breeze here. That's what I was trying to explain. They, they lay the wire across the contact and solder it, and that means you've got this loose bit sticking out. It, it's not missing, it's not um, supposed to be soldered to anything else. That's just the other end of the wire that they haven't cut short. So I hope that might help. And the original reason for taking this apart was just to demonstrate that it should just be those pillars going into the holes that hold it together. I haven't come across any that are glued together, it is possible, but generally they're just a very good push fit. You might need to jiggle that just to get it back in the right place. Yeah, I think she's okay. Oh, she's rocking all right. I'm trying to hold her still. But she's getting enough light from my um, LED lights, which is unusual. If I give her a bit of my ultraviolet, she likes that. Got these from eBay. Cheap. Right, that's it. Hope that helps.